I wasn't sure what it meant until I saw this. It's like we are meant to trust that we are divinely guided. I had my guide right next to me. I mean, who else could you ask for? But, you know, Willy Wonka and Doctor Who all rolled up into one. <laughs> everything's going to be all right. I was going to get where I needed to go. It's going to be interesting and wild and just go with it. Welcome back as we continue taking a look at universal symbolism day by day through the Sabian symbols of astrology. And we're looking at two degrees. Uh, Taurus and Scorpio is where we are currently. The 20th degree. And I look at both of them because one is a mirror of the other and they give clues to each other. So, thanks for joining me. We're going to start with Taurus today. The stone for Taurus is lapis lazuli with calcite, or spotted lapis. It heals physical pain, relaxing the nervous system. It boosts the immune system. It boosts self-awareness. It heightens psychic abilities strengthens spiritual connections. Calcite actually activates the healing properties. It amplifies it and it helps you speak your truth. The symbols for Taurus 20. Wisps of wing-like clouds streaming across the sky. A man performing a complicated weaving pattern from memory. A fork in the road, no signpost. The clouds hurry. They are late for an appointment. By intuition, a healer chooses the proper remedy. This degree is asking us to look for signs that the divine hears us when we ask for help, when we bid for help. It says if you say it, and you're on the right path, well, whether you're on the right path or not, look for signs, and that can be synchronicities. It can be images that you might see in a tree. It can be a flower. It can be a song that you hear on the radio. If you have the mind to hear it, the everyday becomes magical. And this degree is asking us to lean into that, to create from a space of intuition, not knowing the roadmap and being okay with it. Having a roadmap going where somebody else has gone many, many times before will get us to a location that we know is safe, but safe may not be exactly where we're meant to go. We're being asked to take the road that we want to take specifically for ourselves. And the man performing a complicated weaving pattern simply from memory well, we're going from the memory of our higher mind and as we go and we weave a pattern of a flower and then we weave a pattern of something else and a, and a horse and a this and a that, before we realize it we have created a beautiful painting that we weren't sure where we were going to end up on the other end but we knew we wanted it to feel a certain way, we wanted to experience a certain type of experience and we trusted that our thoughts would take us where we need to go. Shutting down the intellectual side and trusting your gut. A fork in a road with a blank signpost. When you get somewhere and you're not sure which way to go, your, your senses become heightened and you have really no choice but to tap into your higher mind and say, okay, um, I put my hands up in the air, I'm not sure which way I'm going, and um, help me, please, and trusting that you're going to get the right answer. And when you get it, you follow it, and you keep doing that at every intersection. You'll get where you need to go. You get where you're intended to go. But intellectually, you may not have known. To have awareness of the fact that spiritual forces are working with us. We must look for synchronicities, we must look for a certain color, a whiff of perfume, a smile. We look for things that intuitively feel right. Okay, let's take a look at Scorpio. 
The stone for Scorpio is unusually beautiful. It, it looks like, it reminds me of a peacock in color. It's called Vivianite and the spelling will be in the description. It brings forth peace and truth. It opens up the third eye, the throat, and the heart chakra. It combines all three. It helps you embrace positive thinking and change, facilitates physical healing, relieves physical trauma, emits vigorous vitality and body intensity. It helps with weakness or lack of energy. It is a stone of peace and love. The symbols for 20 Scorpio. A woman draws away dark curtains, closing the entrance to a sacred pathway. A man who carries large sacks of books everywhere he goes. The diamond shield of a mythical king of old. A serpent wrapped around an immense egg. At the play's beginning, a dark, empty stage. This degree is talking about the great mother within all of us. The, the feminine energy to pull in what we desire. And it's bringing us back to Antiphony, that word that came up a few degrees ago where it's a chorus. One sings out and another one answers. One sings out and another one answers. And these two degrees are, are very, very similar in what they're, what they're trying to say to us and that when we call out our human bidding is answered by a chorus of divine energy, divine beings that we may not see them physically but they're there and they're helping us and they make things happen, they make things move. The other thing we're being told to embrace here is being okay with not knowing exactly how the play is going to end. Enjoy the play. Uh, the stage is dark and empty at the beginning. The Sacred Mother knows exactly what's going to happen, but we're here to experience it. And if we knew the ending to the story, if we knew the presents under the tree before we open them, it takes some of the joy out of it. So we're supposed to embrace that some things are sacred because we're meant to learn things in a certain pace and that we have to trust that. An egg is great potential and the serpent is kundalini, the life force, and here it is coiled around it, it is protecting what is sacred within. So we're back to the, the book, uh, we are the book, we carry all the answers and we have but to ask, this is what I want to experience and the sacred feminine within not female in the in the sense of the physical realm but the the urge to say I want this and then the feminine draws it to us is always with us here it is incredibly strong any bit of information that we can ever want is 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 here we have but to ask for it if you've had a dream specifically about any of, of what I've talked about here today or you know that that speaks to this theme please leave a comment we would love to hear it my dream was that I was in Hawaii we were visiting and there was construction happening in the hotel and also when I looked out into the out, out the window out to the sea there was also construction on the beach and it didn't deter me I still wanted to go and so I said, come on, let's go. Let's go grab a pizza. Let's go exploring. Finally, it was like, okay, we're going to go. And I got onto some huge, like it was like a tube, one of those tube trains, like a super, super train. It was crowded. It was very crowded. And I remember thinking, wow, there's a lot of people on here and I don't, I don't know if I fully fit in here. But then I saw, oh yeah, there's... There's my, he wasn't my date, but he was my guide. I knew that I was supposed to go sit with him. <laughs> if you can combine 
uh, Willy Wonka, the original, with Doctor Who. <laughs> that was my guide. I'm like, okay, he saved me a seat. So I jumped in right next to him like there was only one little spot. And, and then all of a sudden, the tube, like this, in the, um, the aisle way, this big wall comes up but it's like a blow-up wall and it's a pillow and a wall at the same time and it kind of freaked me out at first it's like oh, I can't see anyone where where is everybody like where am I and I realized you know what it was that it was offering me some privacy but it was also um, a, a pillow just relax enjoy the ride so I did and then right before I woke up I was aware, like I saw all of that in color. It was very clear, like Willy Wonka had red hair and a dark top hat and very clear. All of it was clear. I think the tube was a pinkish color. So yeah, lots of color. But then right before I woke, I saw these flashcards and it was almost like a life review, but it was darked out. I could see that they were flipping and they were flipping quickly and I could see like one was a bird and then but they were moving you know very fast right in front of my face and it went on for quite a while but I couldn't see what they were at all I could see that they were cards and I could see it was a review some type of life review but that's all I saw like the faint outline of what was about to occur and I wasn't sure what it meant until I saw this. It's like we are meant to trust that we are divinely guided. I had my guide right next to me. I mean, who else could you ask for? But, you know, Willy Wonka and Doctor Who all rolled up into one. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. I was going to get where I needed to go. It's going to be interesting and wild and just go with it. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And until next time, take care.